Did you see it for the just concluded JAM UTME examination and you scored above the minimum cutoff mark that have been set by uh, the JAM committee, or you scored the minimum cutoff mark that have been set by your university or school of choice, then this very video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate your aggregate admission aggregate score using your O-level, your JAM score, and most importantly, your post UTME score if your school will be uh, sitting, will be uh, conducting the post UTME score. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to share this video with your friends and colleagues. Remember, it's very important because they themselves can learn from it. Now, note that in addition to your JAM score, your O-level result is another criteria for admission into any tertiary institution in Nigeria, especially for school who do not conduct the post-UTME screening examination or uses student total aggregate, which is YA plus your JAM score for admission. For this reason, if you hope to be admitted to study any course in Nigeria, you must first meet up with the university course requirement, which in this case will be having credit in five core subjects including English and mathematics. Now in this table, we are going to consider the university O-level aggregate grading system. In this grading system, as you can see on the screen, university grade their score, the YEC uh, O-level uh, result is graded with A1, B2, B3, C4, C5, C6, D7, E8, and F9. And each of these grading uh, grade have their various points and their score range. Now, the various point is what is used, a value point is what is used in calculating your aggregate uh, mark uh, when you go for any admission. Now, notice something that for A1, if you score A1 in any core subject, you have 10 points. If you score B2, you have nine points. If you score B3, you have uh, eight points. On and on it goes. Now, if you have a D7 in any course, that is not a pass. And that is why each school will always request for uh, credit in any four core courses for, uh, for your study, including mathematics and English. Now, let's get into calculating your O-level result aggregate. Now let's assume we have a student who wants to study medicine and surgery. Now, uh, the YEC will, uh, the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board will require such a student to have credit in or above in five good courses, including mathematics and English. Now, let's assume that we have five students. We have this student, student A, it's called Mathematics A1, English B3, Physics B2, Chemistry C4, and Biology B3. Now, these are the five core courses, subjects, these students need to have a five credits on in order to uh, get or study medicine and surgery in any university or a tertiary institution of choice in Nigeria. Now, if you look at the table, you come to see the aggregate score that this student will have. If he has an A1 uh, in maths, a B3 in English, physics B2, uh, chemistry C4, and biology B3, his aggregate score of student A will be 42. So the O-level aggregate score that will be calculated by your school of choice will be 42. That is taking. 
Now we'll now go ahead to look at how to calculate the jam aggregate score. Now for this student A who will be sitting for uh, jam, he is required to sit for four good course courses too in jam, which is maths and English, which is English is generally for all students. Mathematics is included plus biology and chemistry. And each of these subjects are scored a total of 60, 40, 40, 40, respectively, for English, mathematics, biology, and chemistry. Now, to calculate this student jam score, all he needs to do is to calculate the score he got in jam, divided by 60 times 100, and that will give him the score for that subject in jam. So, jam has the duty of doing this. And once they have calculated that aggregate score, they will, your jam score, they will give it as a bulk score to you. So every student has their score. Now let's assume that student A aggregate score is 329. After sitting for this four subject in um, jam, just as you have seen in the table, student A aggregate score will be 329. Now, total score, jam score will be 329. Now, what will be student A aggregate uh, jam aggregate score? To calculate student A jam aggregate score, student A jam aggregate score will be equal to the jam score student A gets divided by 8. Now, when we divide that jam score, divided by 8, we are going to have 329 divided by 8, and that will be equal to 41.12. That is student A jam aggregate score. Now, let's assume that this student will not, uh, the school of choice, the university of choice of this student will not be sitting for the post-UTME screening exam. So that means this student will be assessed based on their old level aggregate mark and their jam aggregate mark. So if that is calculated, the student A score based on the old level result aggregate and the jam aggregate score is going to be 42 plus 41.12. 42 is the O-level aggregate score we've calculated for this student, and 41.12 is the jam aggregate score. And when you calculate that, we are going to have 83.12. Uh, if this student is not, student school of choice is not going to take a uh, uh, seat for the post-UTME screening exam, this student will be uh, will be admitted based on this admission aggregate score, which is made up of JAM aggregate score and the O-level result aggregate score. Now, on the other hand, if the student school will be conducting the post-UTME screening examination and will also be using the student O-level result aggregate, then the admission aggregate will be equal to the YEC aggregate, uh, aggregate, which will constitute 20% of the total score, the JAM aggregate, which will constitute 50% of the total score, and the post-UTME exam score, which will be 30%. So the admission aggregate for that student A will be the YEC aggregate plus the student JAM aggregate score plus the student post-UTME examination score. So we are going to have 83.12 plus the student post-UTME score, which is going to be determined after the student post-UTME examination. But remember that the student is going to sit for such an uh, examination, post-UTME screening examination, if he scores above JAM minimum cutoff mark, and the minimum cutoff mark that have been set by his university of choice. Note that this is only applicable to schools 
that uses student O-level result to calculate their aggregate admission score. Universities, from my research, like University University of Benin, from my research, do not really consider WIEC O-level uh, aggregate score. So they judge student based on their JAM score and their post-UTME screening score. So find out your university of choice if they do use such O-level uh, result aggregate score. If they do, then you can calculate such using the example we've given you in this video. I do hope that you have learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to our channel for more unique uh, updates in all your examination. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.